According to Statista, Americans spend 323 minutes per week watching video content on their phones. If you're creating videos, you must understand how to edit them to keep those minutes on your content. Let's show you how. Hello world, welcome back to the VizMe Lab. I'm Mike Ploger and today we're cooking up a recipe on how to cut videos for mobile consumption properly. When you shoot a video on your phone, you may be recording for minutes before capturing that perfect moment. Or maybe there's several moments mixed in that you need to share with your viewers, but you don't want all the extra nonsense that adds no value. So how do you cut it? Where do you begin? What tools can you use? We'll answer all of that and more in this video, shall we? To start, let's touch on the difference between trimming and cutting. Trimming is the removal of excess video, either at the beginning or the ending of the video. You are shortening the video, but it remains mostly the same. Cutting will remove parts of the video anywhere in the timeline. If you don't like a middle section, you cut it out of the video. This technically leaves you with two, three, or more separate videos. These are noticeable in the final rendition of the video as there will be a sudden jump in the video or a transition. Splitting is another term for cutting used in a lot of video editing software, so be on the lookout for that. For more simple editing, an iPhone is a great tool. Photos or iMovie provide the tools to make simple cuts in your videos. It can get a little tricky if you need more precise cuts going frame by frame, and for that I'd actually recommend getting on a desktop. But let's look at editing from your iPhone. First you want to go into your Photos app and open the video you want to edit. For our purposes, let's trim this video of a beautiful pup calmly standing by in a sea of dandelions. Click edit in the top right corner. You'll then be given a mini timeline at the bottom of the app. You see those two arrows on either side of the timeline? You can drag those to trim your video. So if we wanted to start the video where the dog is looking up, we could trim the first three and a half seconds from the beginning of the video. Then just click done, save as a new version, leaving the original, or save the video as its new form. It's just that easy. Feel free to drag the right arrow in as well should you want to trim the ending of your videos. Now the alternative to photos is iMovie. You may have to download this if you don't have it or maybe you've deleted it before, but start by opening the app and either open a movie file or start a new one. Upload the clip that you want to edit. We'll stick with our dandelion dog who I think we should just name Dandy. You'll then see a timeline and you can drag the yellow markers to make your adjustments. Shorten the beginning up to have Dandy fully aware when the video starts and voila, you can now trim your videos in both photos and iMovie. Get back into that iMovie app and let's show you how you can cut or split videos. We'll edit this video of a couple on the rocky shoreline, but let's say we want to get rid of this portion of the video where the ocean meets the rocks taken by a drone. How can we do this? Well, follow along. We'll open the video in iMovie and drag the playhead to where we want to make our trim. We'll do it just before the ocean portion begins. Tap to select the clip, then click Actions, then tap Split. The scissors icon is always an icon for splitting almost universally. Once you make your first split, go to where you want to make your next one. In this instance, it'll be once the ocean rocky part ends and we'll make another split. Then click on that selection of video we just split and delete it. All done. You can now move forward without the portion of the video that you didn't want. If photos in iMovie just don't cut it for you, the App Store is loaded with other options. InShot, Adobe Premiere Rush, and KindMaster are a few of the most popular video editing apps available. Let's look at Premiere Rush to see if you like it more than Photos and iMovie. Start by opening the app and selecting the video you wish to edit. Tap the video clip in the timeline to activate the yellow highlight marker around the clip. You should then see markers at the beginning and the end of the video, just like with the Photos app, to drag in your beginning and ending. You can pinch the timeline to make it larger and make more precise edits. It's similar with splitting as well. Drag the playhead to where you want to split your media. Once in the perfect spot, click the scissors icon in the left toolbar. 
Again, it's just that easy. You can make as many cuts as you see necessary. Now, VisMe is another great option for trimming a video. If you're working on another project in our platform, such as a stunning presentation, you can input and edit videos straight from the editor. Simply open the project that you're working on and add the video to the canvas. It's important to add it to the canvas and not the background. Click on trim right next to settings and a timeline will appear on the bottom of the screen. In the video timeline, you'll see yellow highlighted markers that allow you to adjust your video's length. Then just click anywhere else on the page to exit and save the project automatically. Now that you know how to edit and trim your videos, it is time for you to get to work. But first, let's go over some real quick tips to keep in mind as you begin editing. The first is to plan ahead. Consider the video's purpose. Who will be watching it? How will it grab attention? And what goals are you hoping to accomplish with the video? Visualize it with a storyboard. If you're starting blank, this can help you map out your video and the steps that you'll need to take. Use the right aspects and dimensions. This is important. If your video is meant to be consumed on mobile, you want nine by 16 dimensions. Leverage transitions as best you can. Quick cuts in video can be sloppy depending on the video's purpose. Utilize transitions to make the video cleaner. Also add captions. Some hosting platforms will do this automatically, but more and more we're seeing viewers utilizing captions. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no more time to waste. Start editing your videos now with the tips that we discussed today. The world is waiting to see your content. We appreciate you watching ours, and if you're feeling extra generous today, we kindly ask that you simply like our video so more people can learn just like you did. Then subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more tomorrow. We hope to see you soon. With VisMe, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.